Hi everyone, welcome to this video all tricks hands on questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started with the introduction. We will be working with the accident data set. Below is the sample. Let me show you the data. So the Excel file is going to have four sheets named Jan to April. It has the accident IDs, the count and the month in which the accident took place. Let's move on to our question. We need to input the monthly accident Excel workbook. Next would be to accept user input for multiple sheet names. And here we need to at least select three sheet names. Based on the user input, it will show the accident for the specific sheets. Example, if user selects the sheets as Jan, and March, then it will display as the Jan and March sheets accidents. So let's get started with Alteryx. First, we will create the macro. For that, let's go to the interface tool and bring in our macro input. We'll edit the data and enter the sample data here. So let's give max three inputs, right? Let's give three here, sheet one. Sheet 2 and sheet 3 as 3 samples. For user selection, let's bring our drop down. We'll manually give the values. And let me just copy it for other user inputs. Next, let's bring in our filters. Let me connect this input to the first filter. We'll create the custom filter where sample is equal to sheet 1 let's copy this filter again Okay, so we'll do the same thing. We'll bring the input for the other two filters. So the second one, we'll keep it as sheet 2. And for the last one, let's keep it sheet 3. Now let's bring in our update that's the action tool so we can connect from here to this lightning symbol this is the first update let's click on this and change the value we need to replace the string this is done similarly we'll do the for the second one Replace the string sheet 2. And lastly, our third. Okay, this part is done. Now our other task would be to union this all outputs which we are getting. So let's bring in a union tool.
here we'll join the true of all the filters and for our, our output let's bring in the macro output here connect this symbol to this the union result let's run it one two the third one is missed so we all we see all the three sheets which are being passed as an input here let's just save this now we'll move to our original workflow here first would be to bring in our input data we'll set up the connection and browse to the file Here we'll use the option import only the list of sheet names. Next for processing part, we'll insert the macro. Right click and insert the macro. The new workflow. Put it here. We'll join this to give the input to the macro. And let's select this as the sheet names as the field to get the content out of it we would need the dynamic input here we'll again have to select our file here I'll keep Jan as selected Next things to configure here, we have to find the fields in the sample and we'll have to keep the action as change the file or table type. Now final thing would be to browse this. So this is giving us Jan. Now let's try selecting some values. Jan and April April data we are getting Feb we are getting and Jan we are getting okay so this is how based on multiple user inputs we can show the values from specific sheets thank you for watching